yo yo what is up everybody welcome to the pelbros it's myself as always ryan dw and i have mr pelbro james what up pels fans hey how's it going yeah pretty much um the reason we're even making this video is because dude how crazy is that uh obviously ps5 being uh released and stuff like that but this is the pelbros this is a freaking pelbros gaming that's that's another kind of thing anyways the point of that right is 2k21 the trailer came out right and who, who who's in that video mate it could it be our very own zion is that, williamson is that someone we know do we know a zion i don't know if we know a zion williamson do you know a zion williamson yeah just a measly power forward you know he's not not probably not good at all yeah i think it's a bit uh overrated if you ask me mate what he, he, man hasn't even played a whole season and this guy's going to become the cover athlete of what like the one of the launch ps5 games 2k21 what do you reckon about that do you reckon is, is it too soon my, my good sir what do you reckon about that yeah, I mean, he's only played 19 games this season, so it's pretty crazy. <laughs> he's only played fucking 19 games so far. But man, you know, right. we all know the hype yeah. he's come through coming in from yeah. college, coming from Duke. This was kind of expected. I didn't think it'd, it'd be that soon. Yeah, I didn't think it'd just be this soon too. It right? was always probably yeah. going to be a cover on 2K, but man, I'm pretty hyped for it. it. This is great for not only Zion himself and his brand, but damn, the Pelicans are going to get some massive kind of market boost from this. Yeah, man. So Yeah, bro. Um, so everyone listening in right now is probably a bandwagoner right now. They're like, "Oh shit, what the hell? He's gonna be on the 2K21 thing. I've got to j jump on the uh, what's it called Pelicans bandwagon because yo, we're gonna win the chip soon, bro." Yeah, so I mean, like you said, 2026, like we said before, but massive congratulations. Could be sooner. Could be sooner. Could be sooner. That's why it's got me hyped up. Like, yeah, massive congrats to Zion. Obviously, it's huge for him. Huge for his his branding. Um, yeah. But I mean, looking at the trailer, what do you think about the trailer? Oh, uh, bro, obviously, you know, I, I mean, the, the joke has been done to death with 2K and all that, but obviously, you know, it's just with the trailers, just, you know, don't show gameplay, but just add more sweat to the, the characters, and that's pretty much what it is. But apart from that, I'd say just the jersey, like seeing the Pelicans jersey and like that, like HD of HD, and like, you know, I'm just like, bro, that looks freaking sick, dude. That's, that's my two cents on that. What do you reckon? Yeah, the sweat does look really exaggerated, so there's a bunch of memes that are pretty funny, but... The trailer itself I thought looked awesome. I mean, like you said, it got me really hyped to actually play as the Pelicans. But I'm going to just say, straight off the bat, we know that even in the corner it said, you know, actual 2K game footage. I don't believe that for a second. Nah, bro, that's always BS, bro. Like, yeah, because, oh, shit. I mean, for... I, w let's let's talk shit about 2k bro like you know it's it's on everyone's mind here and shit like we're the pell bros we keep it real we, we can't be letting you guys come to this video and we're gonna keep it fake and shit bro 2k's been shit for ages bro like i'm just trying to say man like um so back in the day obviously there was like nba live right like you remember nba live with ea right yep i was playing the 08 yeah. and the 09 one back in the day yeah ex exactly and so pretty much right so they were the market leaders back in the day nba live ea but and it's because of that 2k back in the day like let's say 2k8 2k9 2k10 they're having to like hustle each year to like try to actually win more market share right they're gonna have to like innovate make a better fucking game actually that's the entire reason why everyone fell in love with 2k but it kind of like fucked everything up at the end right because um here we are and uh 2k 2k was killing it so much that ea was like oh, i can't i can't compete and, and they packed up the bags and left right and now look at what's happened, bro. For the last what, ten years or so, it's just a complete monop monopoly by um, 2K. And with that, each year they don't have to improve the game; they just make it a shitter game, if anything. And um, fuck you, because you're gonna buy it anyway. You, you, you know what I mean? If anything, we should boycott 2K. What do you reckon about that, mate? Yeah, completely agreed. Back in the day, NBA Live was the king. If you're looking at 08, 09, I loved playing those Magic, those uh, Houston Rockets teams. I mean. 2K had to compete and they did put out a few good titles. I think 2K11 was probably the last one that I thought was probably the best. I think it's the one yeah. with MJ on it. Yeah, that was... 2K10 though had Kobe. That was, that's my favorite. That's my personal favorite. Yeah, but look at it back in the day. 10, 11, probably 12 is still decent. But man, they, they haven't... Like you said, they've pretty much just reskinned the exact copy of the game. You still got some buggy graphics. You still got some terrible gameplay. I won't lie. The last one I purchased was 2K17. So oh, yeah, it had been a couple it, years, but to be honest, I just want Is that wanted... Kyrie? Is that the one with Kyrie? Uh, I think that's the one with... Uh, it's the one with Paul George. Oh, PG. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so yeah. to be honest, I actually just wanted the updated rosters for the Pelicans. Yeah. And that's why I got it. So, I mean, I, I'm not the kind of person to purchase it every year, but, um, you know, if you, if you purchase it once every five years, I don't think you're doing too bad. But honestly, 
Yeah, 2K has just got to step up. They've, they've got to up their game. Yeah, but all in all, James, let me quickly ask you. Do you see yourself purchasing a PS5 within like the next year and then with with that 2K21? What do you reckon? As a Pelicans fan. Honestly, I don't because I've got a PS4. I just, I'm not really? that high for the PS5. It's just another... Let's be, for me, I don't know if the consoles are that much more different to 2K. Is it? it feels like it's just a reskin. Yeah, that's true. A few that's extra true, graphics and they charge you a lot more. So unless my PS4 dies and unless you know 2K21 ends up being the best game ever, I can't see myself buying a PS5. What about you? That's You're an enough. Xbox no, man, aren't you? I, I mean, I'm still on my Xbox 360, bro. So Damn, I don't necessarily see myself, you know, bro, like what? It's, it's tough in the streets, son. Like, I don't want to have to... Put my house on auction or some shit just so I can afford to get a PS5. Yeah, take out a loan. Fucking, yeah, to get a loan to, for a PS5, right? Like, please, I promise, I promise, you know. Um, yeah, because last time I tried to do that, I got my legs broken. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, apart from that, that's that wraps up this video, I guess. That's like uh, been our thoughts to Pell Bros. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you guys like that shit. Like, w w what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna buy 2K21? Obviously, there's people that buy it every fucking year, so it's up to you guys. Comment if you want. Otherwise, hit us up, Pell Bros Podcast. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, suss us out. We've got good content. What, what do you have to say to them, Mr. J? Yeah, same Maybe thing. Us. Check us out on Instagram, at Pell Bros. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. Hit us up in the DMs. But um, yeah, let us know who you think should be on the cover. If it's not Zion, um, you know, what do you think about uh, 2K21? Yeah. All right. Well, peace. Thanks. Checking out. <laughs>